Nova Scotia back in 1796. But he didn't make his fortune with his lawyer and her judge, and it was writing about a character named Samuel Slick. Sam Slick was a peddler and a storyteller, too, told his tales to the squire as they strolled around the block. He traveled Nova Scotia, though he said that he'd be going back on to America once he sold all of his box. But now back to Halliburton, who when he was only 20 took a journey off to England where he met his future wife. He brought her back to Canada to raise a little family. They had 11 children, of which eight of them survived. He was in the legislature for Annapolis Royal because that was where he lived and he worked for a while. Then he became a judge and he started on his writing, so he built a house in Windsor and they lived their lives in style. When the clockmaker was published, it became a small sensation in America, in England, and in Canada, it's true. It quickly made him famous, but he always needed money, so he wrote another sequel and another one, too. He quite preferred to mingle with aristocratic types. They'd invite themselves to parties where they'd often stay for days. But there wasn't any royalty in such a modest colony. He much preferred the monarchy to democratic ways. Thomas Chandler Halliburton, born in Windsor, Nova Scotia, left Canada for England after poor Louisa died. He's remembered as an author and his house is a museum. So long, Mr. Halliburton died in 1865.